previously in Dream Daddy. I'll have a... Godspeed you black coffee! Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. What do you mean time to time? I'm coming in for that couch, baby! That goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing! In Dream Daddy now. I get to work unpacking the various boxes. Boxes? Boxes? Around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. And I mean, if they did all that set up right here in like a few hours, that's pretty good. Okay, now what is that controller? That looks like an Xbox controller. They be playing Xbox games and not Switch games? First visit already. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? A handsome, clean cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. What's he sound like? Uh, oh? Oh, where my man is? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Papa. That's what my name is. Papa Reese. Oh. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. <laughs> Joseph leans in and whispers, <laughs> but between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> Kids, right? <laughs> Kids. <laughs> Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her a plate of cookies with a smile. Eh? Well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. She took him all. Hmm. Amanda, come. Ah, she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Hmm. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there would have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. Yeah. I have four kids. Ooh. Ooh. What have you done? Yeah, you, you fucked up. You, you done fucked up. Oh, uh, I meant... Oh. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. It is not too late. Ah, yes. Okay. In the misses around, Mister actually. I don't like uh, Daddy number two because number one is not not anymore. He died. Yeah. Oh whoops! I kind of knew that was happening. I don't know why I let that on though. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things are. I don't know why I said R. Ah, there's no R ah there. The weird thing, the, the one thing that's weirded me out is he's in the house. Did he like open the door and he walked in and was like, cookies? And also like, see that remote near his belt? That's like half on the table. Doesn't that bother you? It could fall off. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply after a second. I hear a knock on the door, opening it. I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the coldy sack, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. I forgot what he sounds like, so that's why he's got that weird voice now. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. He didn't affirm Amanda. It's just you. Oh, so four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. I guess he's going to invite Amanda for the four kids. We shake hands to seal the deal. Seal that deal. Mm. Hey. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Well, that's... What day is it? Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts to walk away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Love me. Oh. No. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. 
Ooh, he's pretty. He's a, he's a, he's a pretty. He's a good keeper, you know. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Jess is gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. What do you mean? That wasn't smooth. I can be smooth. I've way more smooth than that. Let me drink my daddy juice and watch this smoothness. Hey, I'm your dad, baby. Daddy's here to be dad. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh, They're gone. I'm sorry. It makes you feel any Betty. They weren't very good. Wow. Just shitting on our new neighbor already. So you ate all of them anyway. Uh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. <laughs> We're gonna be the best neighbors in the whole cloudy sack. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Yep, you heard that from him first. Kick all the neighbors' butts with kindness. Alright, if you haven't done that yet, go ahead, kick your neighbors' butt with kindness. And Miranda and I step outside. Hmm. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Alright, he's gonna go to the wrong house, and he's gonna meet another daddy. I just realized she has an egg, a fried egg on her as a badge, and that is pretty sick. Anyway, he's gonna go to the wrong house, meet a new daddy. This daddy's gonna be like, bad daddy. Actually, it could be the daddy from the, the coffee shop who's like, got the brooding eyes and stuff. Hmm. Out Hazard, I guess, is the big one with all of the well groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Alright, I guess... Oh boy, what the f... Look at their eyes! Are they possessed or something? They're like children of the corn or something. Like, they're well too dressed to look. Normal. But yeah, they're definitely evil children. And they said four kids. They probably killed the other one, just recently. They sacrificed them to a god. A demonic god. A demon. Hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. They're fucking evil. They're evil. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph kids. They all look exactly like them. Christy. Whoa. They were really good. Christian. What's the other one called? Uh, Christy, Christian, and... Uh, Christmas? Christmas? I mean, I heard they were good. I don't get to eat any. Chris! Oh my god! <laughs> I chuckle nervously. Hmm. Well, okay. We're just gonna set this place down on the ground real gently and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Okay, the fourth child is gonna be called... Well, they've got Chris, Christian, Christine... Christine? Might be Christine. I don't know what the other one was. Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kid's eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel the gaze on my back and even as you're... Dude, I literally thought there was one behind me. There is one kid missing. Where'd that kid at? Uh. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. Yeah, I am with you. I need to rest my eyes. Huh? You've been awake for what, three hours? Bro, you need your sleep when you're old. And that's three hours too many. I feel you, Papa. I feel you, Papa Reese. 